Steve and I recently went on a bike packing trip, and in this video, we're going to dive into the gear we took with us. We've partnered up with Oveja Negra, and they set us up with some of their great bikepacking specific bags. Let's take a look at the bags we used and the gear we loaded them with for our three day trip. You'll find links to this gear at dustybetty.com slash gear. Keep in mind that Steve and I have been backpacking for years, so a lot of our existing gear crosses over into bikepacking well. A lot of the gear we're going to show you is expensive, but we've been able to invest in it slowly over the years. You can absolutely go bikepacking with a less expensive setup than what we've got. Here's my seat bag. It's the Oveja Negra Gear Jammer. Inside it, I packed my sleeping bag, a Western Mountaineering Mega Light. I also had a medium weight puffy jacket. This one has been discontinued, but it was made by Golight. I had a buff I could use as a neck warmer or headband on chilly mornings, and a pair of insulated running tights to sleep in. On my bars, I used a 13 liter dry bag secured with the Oveja Negra front end loader. The front end loader is a set of straps with a stiff backed frame to cinch your dry bag up against. Once the straps are cinched down around your dry bag, you can lock the buckles and they stay put all day long. Here's what's inside my dry bag. This is the cook pot that Steve and I share. It's the Vargo Titanium Bot. We also use the Vargo Pot Lifter. Steve and I also share a stove. This is a Soto Windmaster and we've got a small can of fuel to go with it. I've got a beanie, my Sombria wind jacket, a bag with a few toiletries, and some titanium stakes to go with the shelter that Steve is carrying. This is an opsack. It's a sturdy plastic odor-proof bag I can seal my food in at night, so the rodents and other critters of the desert won't get into my food. For my sleeping pad, I use a Thermarest NeoAir X-Therm. A sleeping pad isn't just to cushion your back from pokey rocks and sticks. It's also a really important part of keeping you warm and insulated from the cold ground. You can find sleeping pads that are a little lighter than the X-Therm, but for just a few extra grams, the X-Therm gives you about twice the insulation. And rolled up where you can't see it in my sleeping pad is my inflatable pillow called the Climate Cush. This is a lightweight ground cloth big enough for Steve and I to share. It's made out of a lightweight material called Tyvek. Here's a bug net bivy made by Titanium Goat. It's a big mesh bag that I can slide my sleeping pad and sleeping bag into, and then I can zip myself closed in there to keep all the bugs and critters out. I've also got a thermal top to sleep in, an extra chamois so I can rotate them every day, a spare pair of socks, and some small bags of trail mix and chips. This next bag cinches over the dry bag on my handlebars, and Oveja Negra calls it the lunchbox. For a water filter, I've got a Sawyer Mini. With it is a bladder to collect dirty water to filter, and a syringe in case my filter becomes clogged and I need to back flush it. I've got a few pouches of powdered drink mix. Here's a titanium trowel for digging latrine holes, an ace bandage, and we weren't planning on rain this trip, but I just tossed in one of these really lightweight, super cheap emergency ponchos just in case. Sea to Summit makes this great long-handled titanium spoon. It's perfect for reaching into the titanium cook pot we use, and also the bag's freeze-dried backpacker meals come in. In here, I've got an extra master link, some tire plugs, and a spare valve stem. Here's a small bottle of sunscreen, some tire sealant, and a spare inner tube. This has got a lighter and a small book of matches. This baggie has stuff for some basic repairs and a few survival tools. In it is stuff like a needle and thread, safety pin, patches for my mattress, some Gorilla Tape, and a small cube of fire starter. This is my first aid kit. Some of the things I've got in there are super glue, ibuprofen, tweezers, alcohol swabs, gauze, medi tape, a couple of band-aids, some neosporin, and as a luxury item, I brought a set of hand warmers. Here's a great lightweight headlamp called the Petzl E-Light. I've got some chapstick, a small Leatherman pocket knife that also has some handy scissors, and my multi-tool. And this is a comb we use to flick off pieces of cactus, just in case one of us brushes up against one. I was expecting my period on this trip, so this is my feminine hygiene kit. In here is a small bottle of hand sanitizer, my menstrual cup, a few panty liners, and a few baby wipes to help clean my cup. 
While I can get by without wipes, they save me time and water. Last, I've got a small roll of plastic bags I can put used panty liners and wipes in. This way, I can easily haul all my garbage out. Now let's take a look at the bags on my top tube. Even though my top two bags seem pretty small, they ended up being a great place to put some of my heavy snack foods. This is the Snack Pack XL that attaches up by the steer tube. In here, I've got Luna bars, honey stingers, nut butter, some Pop Tarts, and some cheese. The Snack Pack Small attaches by the seat tube. Inside, I've got a couple different kinds of trail mix. I also brought my Camelback. Inside it are two 3-liter Camelback bladders, a cheap lightweight tripod with a cell phone adapter mount, and my tire pump. I also carried my dinners, a couple of freeze-dried backpacker meals. And this is our ARC Rescue Link Emergency Beacon. We decided to go with a pretty basic emergency beacon. If we're really in trouble, it allows us to send out a signal for search and rescue. Now let's take a look at Steve's gear. I put my two biggest objects in my gear jammer. First was my down quilt. This is made by Enlightened Equipment. It's called the Enigma. It's super light, it doesn't have a zipper, and because of the weather I knew I could get away with a lighter bag like this. Next was my Hyperlite Mountain Gear square tarp. This is a big square tarp made out of Cuban fiber, now called Dyneema, completely waterproof, super light, and because of the weather, I knew we didn't need a full-on shelter. There was no rain in the forecast, and this was a just-in-case item. Inside my dry bag on my front end loader on the front of my bike, I decided to put my clothes in there. I have a spare set of chamois for my Troy Lee design shorts. I've got my Western Mountaineering down puffy jacket. I have a bug net bivy. A Thermarest NeoAir X-Therm sleeping pad with a climate cush pillow. I have my Granite Gear lightweight beanie. I have a Z-Pax breathable Cuban fiber rain shell. An extra pair of socks. Some long merino underwear. And a merino t-shirt. Because space is limited on a full suspension mountain bike, I decided to attach some water bottle cages to my forks. Now these suspension forks don't have water bottle mounts like some of the big bike packing rigs. So what I did was I went to my local bike shop and got some used handlebar tape off a road bike. I wrapped this around my fork legs to protect them. Then I used automobile hose clamps to attach these Blackburn Outpost water bottle cages to my forks. These are oversized super heavy duty water bottle cages and they can hold a lot of weight and a lot of gear. I decided to use the Salsa Anything bags to attach all my gear to these cages. A lot of people run water up here and other really heavy items. And for me, aside from the water I was carrying, my next heaviest item was my food. And so I filled my Salsa Anywhere bags with food, and this kept the weight nice and low on my frame. Here's a bonus tip. Before we loaded up our bikes, we used clear helicopter tape to protect our frames anywhere that straps might rub. We were really happy with how our Oveja Negra bags performed. The locking feature on a lot of the buckles really keeps the straps from loosening. Not having to fuss with our bags throughout the day really freed us up to focus on the miles we had ahead of us. If you make a purchase at ovejanegrabikepacking.com, you can get 10% off your purchase by using the code DUSTYBETTY10. If you're an experienced bike packer, do you have any favorite tips, tricks, or pieces of gear? If you're just getting into bikepacking, what pieces of gear are at the top of your shopping list? Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to get dusty.